Hello again, I am Blunty. We're talking about noise cancellation techniques today to make your microphone sound gooder, to sound bit better, to bestest, to make your microphone sound bestest. Is, is the plan today. We're going to be looking at a couple of different solutions and these are smart solutions, not dumb solutions. The old way to do, you know, noise reduction on microphones was very, very dumb. It just basically just chopped out a bunch of frequencies at the top and chopped out a bunch of frequencies at the bottom because the voice is mostly in the middle. Uh, and, and, you know, they would sometimes pull out sort of certain frequencies of comment, hiss and hum and buzz, but background noise, like for example, the truck you might be hearing in the background right now, uh, much, much harder to remove. Well, over the last few months, pushed forward because of the you know global circumstances, which are forcing many more people to work from home and do their business uh, and personal life stuff through video chats and voice chats far more often. Uh, a lot of companies have been accelerating, pushing out products they've been working on for advanced noise cancellation uh, uh, developed with artificial intelligence and machine learning. Uh, one of the big things at the moment is NVIDIA rushed out a beta of something they've been working on in the background for some time now called RTX Voice. And if I switch that onto this microphone right now, you can hear the difference. Now I'll switch it off again because that's a glass recycling truck, which is making a lot of noise out there. Uh, and then I'll switch it back on again. And uh, you've probably heard demos of this, you know, people tapping on the keyboard and holding up fans to the microphone, and it does a remarkably good job. The problem is that only works on a Windows PC, and it only works on a Windows PC where you happen to have an uh, NVIDIA RTX card. There is a kind of tricky way around it to use it with the older GTX cards, but it's not officially approved, and it's a bit hacky, and it puts extra load in your machine that you may or may not want, but can be done. It's neither here nor there. If you just want a solution that doesn't involve extra bits of software and having a high-end graphics card and things like that, well, that's where Asus have just stepped in, and that's what the core of this video is going to be up. This is the AI noise cancelling mic adapter. You are now hearing me on it through this basic gamer headset. This is the ROG Strix Go Core. They're sort of low tier gamer headset. It's got nothing fancy in it. It's completely analog. There's, you know, it's not USB. It doesn't have any built in uh, anything, basically. It's just an headset. I don't know whether I'm going to do a separate review of this, but just in case you're curious, it's quite good. Sounds fantastic. Super duper light and comfortable. Uh, and as you're hearing, the microphone is pretty good too. I'll give you a comparison with this microphone without this plugged in in a second. Uh, in fact, let's do that now. This is what this headset microphone sounds just directly into the computer without the benefit of the noise cancelling of this. Uh, there is also another uh, truck outside right now, which I'm not sure how much of that is bleeding through. It's slightly quieter than the truck we started with today, but point remains, you can probably hear the background noise. So as you can hear, and again, there's that truck in the background. It's probably been filtered out because I've been using this microphone the moment. It's reverse beeping. It's coming down the street. It's getting louder. It's big. Actually, I'll turn this microphone on so you can hear it. You hear that? That's the kind of noise, the naturalistic noise coming through my window back there that uh, this microphone is now filtering out. Now, of course, this microphone is not going to sound as good as this. This is a studio microphone built by Rode for crying out loud. Uh, and this is just a very, very basic gaming headset. But that's kind of the point of this. This is a super simple, straightforward solution for people who don't have, you know, the huge budget or the technological skills or the requirements of having a fancy microphone or a fancy, you know, gaming PC with an RTX card in it in order to use RTX voice and all that sort of stuff. This is for everybody else, people who are gamers and just want to use some, you know, AI enhanced noise cancellation, very, very smart noise cancellation. So they can still sound pretty good without sounding completely garbage. But of course, this being USB means it will work with your consoles and it will work with your phone and it will work with your PC and it will work with your Mac because you just plug it in. It comes through as an audio device and all the smart stuff gets done on the little chip, on the little mini computer built into this thing. All right, for the, for the hard mode test, the setup is this. You're listening to me through this. This is the unfiltered output, just directly into the computer via its own USB output. I've also got this going through RTX, so we can do a comparison. And I've got this headset, which of course is a lower quality microphone than this to begin with, but that's not the point. This headset is going through the Asus AI audio adapter USB thing. What do they call this thing again? It's, it's such a boring product name. AI noise cancelling mic adapter. At least I didn't call it the ROG Strix AI noise nuker or something stupid like that. They kept it simple because they're not targeting gamers specifically with this thing. So let me turn on some background noise, some ambient noise, some cafe, restaurant, obnoxious peak hour noise. Now you are hearing this unfiltered through this microphone, this extremely high quality studio microphone, this boom microphone designed 
for directional pickup. And, and the noise you're hearing is coming through my speakers over the background, so it's dropping off some of it anyway. But now you're hearing it with RTX on. As you can hear, it nukes basically all of the background noise, but what you're also hearing is what it's doing to my voice. I don't sound nearly as crisp and as clear and as full sounding as I did before it was doing the AI thing. The AI noise cancellation works brilliantly, but it's not magic. It can't do the impossible. There is so much background noise, I mean, most of it human voices, but it's still doing a remarkable job of filtering out the main human voice, my human voice, so I come through clear and concise, and you don't have to strain to understand what I'm hearing. You don't have to listen through the noise to try and understand what I'm hear, uh, saying. That's the point of this kind of technology. Now you're listening to me on this, the exact same background noise. I haven't changed anything. As you can hear, my voice, in, in the test I did before I did the main recording of this, the test I did, this actually sounded better than RTX. And this is what this headset microphone sounds like with the cafe background noise test without the benefit of this. As you can hear, uh, not what you'd call ideal. The other important thing about using this technology is I don't have to yell above the background noise. I can speak quite gently. I can speak at below conversational level. If I was in this cafe, in this noisy environment, I would have to be raising my voice just to speak to someone across the table from me. With this, because of the way this AI is trained, because it's listening for the most prominent human voice, it filters out all the other human voices in the background. Uh, I don't have to try and yell over the background noise, which makes me less obnoxious in that environment as well, which I quite like. Because I hate having to yell over crowds. I hate crowds in general, but I hate having to yell over crowds. Using this uh, on a voice call or a video call or something, you can just be chill. And I really, really appreciate that. In this test, as you can see, the headset is gone because I've got this microphone done three ways. Uh, you're hearing it roar at the moment with no extra filters applied. Now you are hearing it with uh, RTX voice applied. And now we are doing the cafe test again. One with unprocessed audio from this microphone. One with the RTX audio from, uh, well, this microphone going through RTX through either USB output. And now by the analog output through the Asus adapter. Uh, so as you can hear, RTX sounds like this through this microphone, and the Asus adapter sounds like this through this microphone with exactly the same level of annoying background cafe ambiance sound. Uh, which one do you prefer? I know which one I prefer. And just for yet another point of comparison with a very different mic again, you are now hearing me through this little lapel mic from Rode. I recently talked about this when I talked about their nifty little wireless at Duver is here if you want to see that. I'll link to that video on the down below as well. Bit of cross promotion, bit of waffling, just so you can get a sense of how this microphone sounds used in this environment in this manner. I will now turn on our cafe test uh, experiment. And as you can hear, hardly the best, most bestest choice of microphone for an environment like this. It's not the worst choice possible. The lapel mics are designed to sort of pick up voice because they're of proximity, but Again, just waffling so you can really get annoyed by how bad this sounds with the background noise. And this is how that exact same lapel mic sounds going through the Asus adapter with, you know, relatively little background noise. But if I turn on that cafe simulation background noise again, hopefully uh, we can all hear how much of a difference it's making. But yeah, hopefully those few demonstrations have given you an idea about the flexibility that this can provide when it comes to what kind of microphones you can use with it. And it doesn't really matter what microphone you have plugged into it at any point of time. It just spits out through the USB audio interface. And it does come with an adapter, by the way, a USB-C to standard sort of A-type adapter. Uh, so you can plug it straight into a regular USB thing if you like. It says on their website that this is uh, region dependent. Fortunately, if you are somewhere where they don't happen to give you this in the box, it doesn't really matter. This is a kind of standard adapter you can buy at a lot of different places. As a matter of fact, did you hear that car horn? I wonder if you heard that car horn. There was an annoyed car horn back out there. But I'm using the adapter with a USB A to C adapter right now, a cable style one, just to give me an extra length to make it easier to connect and disconnect a bunch of microphones when I was doing my testing here. So this is not a special adapter. So if you don't have this or you lose it or you forget to bring it with you on a business trip or something, you can just buy a regular replacement uh, cable. They're not too hard to get. So you can still go into a regular USB port if your device doesn't have a USB-C port or using the USB-C port for something rather more important. And that is the tremendous advantage of this thing. The only real limitation with this versus, for example, the RTX voice uh, that I've been comparing it to is RTX voice works with 
anything. Uh, any any audio source your computer can see, I mean, you only really want to use it with mics, but technically it could be anything, but any microphone plugged into your computer through whatever means, through whatever adapter, whether it's straight into your sound card or via a USB adapter or via a sound, uh, uh, you know, a mixing deck, or if the microphone itself has a direct USB out, it doesn't matter. RTX Voice just goes, okay, you know, I'll take this higher level input from Windows, I'll do my thing and spit it out as a separate source, which you can then use with whatever application you're using it with. The advantage of this is none of that has to be done. This works natively. This picks up, you know, when you plug this into your computer, it picks up as its own audio source. So you can plug whatever microphone you like into it, but that's the rub. It has a traditional 3.5 mil input, a four pole 3.5 mil input, which most headsets have these days, uh, either natively or via an option with an adapter that comes with them. It's the style of headset you'll get for use with uh, gaming these days most often because it's what the consoles use uh, for their analog inputs and things like that uh, and even PC headsets these days and many laptops come with that four pole adapter uh, a lot of headsets still do sort of separate into the uh, separate plugs for microphone and you know audio if that is the case you can use this adapter with a little wire adapter like this so you can you know it does the opposite basically it takes the two inputs and joins them back together so you can just plug your microphone into that and then through the four pole adapter into the adapter and away you go. Um, but if you plug a three pole microphone directly into this, as most microphones are, like for example, the audio output from this is a three pole thing, a little lavalier is a three pole thing, it doesn't work. I wish Asus have done with this what in fact Deity did with this. This has a little microprocessor on board that automatically detects what it's connected to. So even though it has a four pole connector on the end here, if you plug it into something that needs a three pole connector, it goes, okay, I'm smart enough that, and it switches internally. I wish Asus had done that with this. So I can plug in a standard three pole, uh, 3.5 mil microphone, and it would be smart enough to pick it up, but it doesn't do that. If you plug in a regular microphone in this without an extra adapter to, you know, turn it into a four pole thing, it doesn't work. Uh, so that's one limitation. Another limitation, of course, it doesn't work with USB microphones because it doesn't have a USB input. Uh, you can use it with a mixer, I suppose, because many mixers will have a 3.5 mil output. But again, you may have to go through an adapter to get it to a full pole input. So this understands what to do with it. So it does have a few annoying limitations. But for most people, the use case this is sold for, that people who just want to plug a headset like this into it and just automatically get AI powered noise cancelling solution that is by far and above superior to the dumb noise suppression techniques we've had so far on, micro on headsets like this. Does it do the sound quality of your microphone any favors? No, no noise cancellation technique, no matter how sophisticated, can preserve a perfect you know, quality of your microphone. That's just the nature of the beast. It is removing information from the signal, hopefully leaving enough of the interesting signal, the, the signal you want, uh, intact to be clear and concise and uh, in this case make for easier communications. And is it as good as RTX voice? No. We've demonstrated that throughout this video. It does a lot more harm to the overall quality of the sound uh, than RTX tends to do. That said, it is a bit more aggressive than RTX as well, which means it filters out more of the background noise I have found. So there's a balancing act there. Uh, it also must be said that I, the, uh, RTX voice has a, a slider, and mine's at about 60%-ish. So RTX can be more aggressive, and it can sound, uh, you know, every bit as aggressive as, as, as this if you wanted it to, but the point is RTX does have that slider. If you have the option for RTX voice, I would still use that. But again, that is a much more expensive overall proposition because you have to have a computer with an RTX card in it for a start to even make that happen. This works on a bunch of devices, on, on, on old laptops, on your phone, on your gaming console, you know, whatever you can plug a uh, USB microphone into, whether it be USB-C or, you know, via the adapter, regular USB. And the first instinct when, when hearing these side-by-side -side comparisons tests is to go, well, that's, that's terrible. It's not as good as RTX and it does horrible things to the microphone quality overall compared to, you know, just tolerating the background noise. But that's not the point of this product. The point of this product is to get rid of that background noise so you can have actual clear communications with another person without having to deal with that background noise. I would happily take, you know, the drop in quality of, of the microphone uh, when it's important to, to communicate when I'm trying to have a, a meeting or when I'm trying to tell someone something important or when I'm trying to just talk to someone and sounding a bit tinnier at the other end or sounding a bit weird at the other end compared to 
having to force someone to listen through all that background noise, I think it's a decent compromise. I think it's a really good tool to have in the toolkit when you're when you're dealing with that kind of stuff, and I think it will come in handy for a lot of people. But again, if you're a YouTuber or a streamer, for example, looking to take care of some background noise in your environment, this is not the best solution for that. RTX Voice might be a better solution for that, or investing in a better microphone, a more appropriate microphone, or sound treating your, your room or whatever. They're all going to be better solutions for that, but that's not the target market for this. Get me? All right. I can highly recommend this as a super easy solution for people who are just looking to get rid of some background noise. They're in challenging environments. They're in an office. They do voice calls from cafes or whatever, as you know, the, the, the demo we were using before. That's who the target market for this is. And for that target market, this works brilliantly for that. Uh, and for your average gamer, just looking for a better voice chat. So whatever's going on in the background of the house gets filtered out, you know, mum's vacuuming or, or whatever, or you know, it's, it's summer and you have to have the window open and there's trucks going by and things like that. Uh, it's not summer here at the moment because I'm in Australia, it's winter, but I open the window just for demonstration purposes, obviously. Uh, it is a superb solution for that. And, you know, again, doesn't rely on you having a fancy RTX card or NVIDIA software or anything else like that. It just plug and play, away you go. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this has been useful, entertaining or informative or all of the above. Make sure you've done the subscribe and the bell and the comment and the reshare and all the other algorithmy stuff. And a special thank you as always to the people up there scrolling my patrons. Thank you ever so much for your continued above and beyond support. Uh, I know I put up a big old uh, dedicated thank you video on the Patreon yesterday for it, but thank you again.